if you've been looking to get hold of the DJI wide angle lens, then you're probably struggling because it doesn't seem to be in stock anywhere. And that's where Freewheel have come in because not only have they sent me the wide angle lens for the DJI Mini 3 Pro, they've also sent something else which could completely change the game for the DJI Mini 3 Pro. So before we talk about this potential Hollywood style game changer, let's take a look at the wide angle lens and is it any good? What you're looking at now is footage from the DJI Mini 3 Pro on board camera. The wide angle lens isn't on it yet. So this is how wide the image actually looks. Now let's pop on this Freewell wide angle lens for the DJI Mini 3 Pro and see how wider of an image that we get here. As you can see, there is a pretty substantial difference between the standard and then adding this wide angle lens. Now when it comes to wide angle lenses, you're always gonna suffer from distortion. So that's why we wanna see kind of how straight everything looks. We wanna look at the sides. Is there any distortion or smearing there? Onto the other lens that they actually sent and it's this little thing here. And this, my friends, is something that I didn't think that was even possible. This is an anamorphic lens on the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Now, what does anamorphic mean? It screams Hollywood. It's got those beautiful flares. It's got a kind of a very wide, squeezed looking view that we're going to have to de-squeeze and post. We're going to jump into that now. I gotta tell you, I gotta be brutally honest here. A couple of weeks ago, Freewell sent me one of these, the anamorphic lens, the wide angle lens, and I tried it out. And to be honest with you, it didn't look very good. In fact, it looked like this. As you can see at the sides of the video image here, there's really bad smearing. It's just, I don't know what's going on. It doesn't look very good. Is it usable? I would have said, no, it's not usable at all. What I did is I reached out to Freewell and I said, hey, look, I've sent him these images. Does this look correct? Because obviously this was an early kind of, I wouldn't say it was pre-production, but it could have been faulty. They sent me new ones, which are what we're looking at right now. And I gotta say, just flying the DJI Mini 3 Pro right now, I have no idea how good or how bad this actually looks because if this looks great, it's a game changer. If it looks bad, then I'm not really sure it's completely usable for maybe something that I'd want or more importantly, something that you'd want. So let's see what all of this looks like. So I just wanted to jump in here real quick about this anamorphic lens because I've just come back to the studio, just taking a look at the footage behind me here. And if you look at the edges, you can still see that smearing. It's a little bit blurry. Essentially what it is, is a loss of detail. Is that a game breaker? Uh, for me, this would not be on the top of my lenses to use straight away for the DJI Mini 3 Pro unless I was going for a very specific look. However, for you, you might look at this and go, okay, this looks pretty, pretty cool. So anyway, I'm going to jump back now to the rest of the video where this has got something that you would think, okay, this is tiny. There's no way they can do this on this. In D filter because the drone has to be powered up. For this to work otherwise it may or may not start which oh, that was too close so let's get this baby up and let's see what happens about getting this on so you got to kind of grip the gimbal but you can just push it on and you really have to hold this and it's kind of on i don't think it's clipped yeah there you go and now it's on so let's check the controller so besides saying the battery needs to be charged uh that's on and the gimbal is all good to go so just keep that in mind it's a tiny little bit fiddly but here's the thing well it's something that for this price point for this size more importantly to get this thing on this it's just it's mind-boggling 
that they've managed to do it. So hats off, free well. As you can see, these things are tiny and I gotta be honest, they are a little bit fiddly to get on. The DJI Mini 3 Pro may or may not kind of go through its gimbal calibration correctly with one of these on. I could say the gimbal is stuck. So the other option is to put these on when you have the anamorphic lens or the wide angle lens on the actual drone, which is a little bit fiddly. And when I say a little bit fiddly, I was just trying to get this on another one and I've busted just like that um, I'm sure it can be kind of fixed uh, can I, yeah like I mean look it, it just pops back in maybe it's just my big awkward hands yes I'm not giving this a real kind of a glowing review or anything of the sort uh, but to say that they've tried this and Freewell have made some amazing ND filters right across the board for all the DJI line to say they had a crack off of this and got it nearly right and managed to get in D filters on there as well. I think you got to tip the hat to that. But yeah, I know they're a business. They will want your hard earned cash. And that's something that you got to think about before you get the anamorphic and the wide angle lens pack, which all comes one go together, including all of those D filters, which work with the wide angle as well. But yeah, there you go. So uh, thanks to Freewell for sending that out. Uh, that's me just being completely honest to you folks out there so take it for what it is check back the footage and if it's not a deal breaker boom anamorphic lens in the dji mani 3 pro or not